Hey, David Charney here from eLearningLocker.com. I wanted to try something a little bit different. See, we had a subject like human resources or HR. That usually breaks down into a whole bunch of little micro lessons. We could allow someone to navigate or find what they're looking for through the use of a menu, but I didn't want to go that approach. I wanted to create a, a simple little keyword search engine in Storyline. My thought is, in kind of a just-in-time approach to e-learning, where if someone really needs to find what they're looking for quickly, uh, when they need it, they can just type in what they're looking for. They don't have to go through a menu. Maybe things are phrased differently than they're used to. You can put a whole bunch of different kind of common or maybe even unique keywords that might relate to someone and what they're looking for and relate that to a slide and be able to allow someone to just type in whatever and it will just shoot them. Uh, well, at first it'll give them some results because if they type in fire, for instance, they may both get... Uh, security uh, as it relates to fire safety, or it could even be an active shooter situation, and you want to be able to make sure that the emergency procedures come up right then and there. Uh, or, or sick. If you type in sick, that might be both sick days or uh, health and safety. You know, if, if you're sick, uh, what might you be able to do to help yourself over, you know, uh, what is the general policy for our sick days at the office? Two very different things, but a lot of people might kind of use the same keyword. So to be able to have results and then jump someone to a specific slide or a layer within a slide uh, would be very important and very valuable if they can do that quickly. So let's take a look at what I somehow ended up with. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. Here we are. Here's the first screen. Again, imagine there's a bunch of micro modules in here. Uh, this is kind of an HR course. So I'm going to come up here and click the little search icon, type a training topic. I can type something like discipline and hit return. I could hit this button here as well. It'll do the same thing. And company. So company has information on discipline. So the idea is you'd be able to click on this or be taken right into discipline and be able to get kind of a micro little module on discipline. Uh, I'll click back on the search and and type holidays and I get leaves. So that's like um, employee leaves, leaves of absence. Uh, again, I could come back here and type employee leaves. I could just type employee. When I just type employee, I get both company and leaves because company is general information about employees as well. I could type, uh, let's see, leaves of absence. I get leaves as well, you know, because I can put any keyword I want into this. If you type something that it can't find, like pi, it says no results, please search again. Uh, so I could type, let's see, emergency, and I get a bunch of stuff. I get health and safety, that makes sense for emergency. I also get a couple of uh, you know, emergency-based micromodules, if you will. So fire, earthquake, active shooter. So if I click fire emergency, I get, I, in this case, I go right to the fire layer. I can jump around between those layers. Go back. I think help. Yeah, help has everything as well because I've got keywords for that. It also has company because company has just general information. So help works for that as well. I could type sick. And again, I've got health and safety because that might help me give me some information on um, what to do if I'm not feeling well. And I've got leaves of absence because I've got sick days if I'm just trying to look up sick days and and how that uh, works within the company. And then uh, another thing I threw in here is a just a one-page search. So this page is no information, just search. So I can do the same thing here. I can type in, let's say I'm sick, um, health and safety leaves, um, you know, same thing. I can click leaves, and again, I'm back to this this page. And these are all these kind of pages that look like this. These are all individual slides. In when I had 
clicked a fire and you saw the fire information, that was a layer within a slide. So here we are in Storyline. I am not going to show too much of how this works uh, from a code level because I'm a bit early in development of this. It's a bit rough. I have some plans to kind of upgrade the code a little bit. So I'll talk about how it, it functions, but I think line per line in the code I'm not going to go into. I'll update a number of little things in here. It, it's working, and that was my first hurdle. It functions, yay, but next I'm going to try to keep refining it so it can be a, a much easier to use template. So again, here's the main page. Uh, you'll notice I don't have a button here uh, for the search like you saw, and that is because I put that on the master layer. So I'll go to the master layer, and I've got it as a separate uh, set here because, because there might be pages that you don't want it to be a part of. So uh, now in here, I've got a number of things. Uh, first off, I've got uh, just a couple little things here so I can show that, that icon. So here's the icon right here, and uh, nothing too complicated there. When you click the icon, it shows the search bar. You can type anything in. This is just an input box. And then this is a button. And I've also got a um, show layer search, which is the next layer up when either you click this button or if you hit the Enter key on the keyboard. So if you do that, you hit search. I clear out my current results. And then I, I execute this little JavaScript here. Now this JavaScript, again, I'm not going to go into the details of it. Uh, I'm actually going to put this JavaScript outside of this. Uh, Storyline allows you to kind of point to a, a JavaScript file, and that way people can make edits to the keywords and not have to be within uh, Storyline. They don't have to re-output the Storyline file. Uh, but I generally have a bunch of keywords, and the first keyword is the word that uh, everything's associated with. Uh, that's, this is what shows up in the results. I've got a couple of uh, loops to uh, do a JavaScript search of these items. And then um, once that's done, it will call results here. And it's a little hard to see this because it's on white. But I've got a bunch of text boxes here. I can't kind of loop in and, and programmatically add text boxes. So uh, I've had to kind of add them in. Uh, and design around the fact that uh, I have to have a number of r results there. I honestly don't need too many results boxes because if you get too many results back in such a small uh, project, that uh, that can often mean that the search isn't uh, as, as valuable as you might think. You ultimately want search to really narrow down the results. Um, so I can see adding a few more boxes here, but um, that's what I've got right now. Uh, and then a bunch of stuff goes on here. I'm not going to show the details of this because I think I can refine this. But this, these are a bunch of the little triggers on these search boxes, or on these uh, results boxes. And these triggers are what helps these uh, boxes jump to the right, uh, the right slide. So here's all my slides, company, health and safety, leaves. Um, hiring, compensation, and emergency. And I made emergency a little bit different because it's an emergency. And then you can see I've got layers for fire, uh, earthquake, active shooter. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. That's how it works. And then I have this as well, and this uses the same, the same system. So it's just a different input box. It all uses the same variables and everything. So, uh, you could add a different type of search anywhere in the project and um, always pull from the same keywords. So, But that is how it works. And again, I'm going to keep uh, refining this and uh, make it a lot easier for people to set it up the way they need to set up, throw in the keywords that they need, be able to actively update keywords and, and adjust them without having to re-output Storyline. Uh, and that's it. It works great in HTML. Uh, it also works uh, great in Flash. I'll call out another little thing too. If I turn on the menu, you do have the option of having a search down here. So you can turn that on and off. That works pretty well. 
you don't have as many options in what you can do with it. But uh, it does not work in the HTML5 version in Storyline 2. Uh, it does, I've just found out, in HTML5. In HTML5, this box will stay there uh, if you have it turned on. But um, honestly, I don't want this menu. If I don't want this menu, I can't have the search. So that really rules out being able to use this. And also because I wanted to build this in Storyline 2, it's not even an option. Uh, too many people use Storyline 2 in HTML5. It's not going to show up. So I've got to build it the way I, I wanted to build it. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit difficult to do, but uh, I, I, because you can use JavaScript, I assumed I could figure something out, and um, and that was true. So, uh, if you can build another option that gives you a lot more flexibility, I, I think that that's valuable. So, again, I'll keep refining, I'll keep uh, making adjustments, and I will keep you all in the loop. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos come out. You can check out elearninglocker.com for e-learning templates, more videos like this, articles, pretty much anything e-learning. If you need custom e-learning development, check out illumingroup.com. And if you're sick of looking at my face, you can check out the Learning Guys podcast at theelearningguys.com.